Hey, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Santosh Chajed, M. Farm PhD, Pharmaceutical Sciences. I'm preparing video on importance of organic chemistry in pharmacovigilance industry. And to we have with us expert from the pharmacovigilance industry, Mr. Rupesh Bhutada, who is manager, product safety and risk management, Vyatrish, formerly Mylan. Mr. Rupesh will share his view on how organic chemistry is important in pharmacovigilance industry. Hello everyone, I am Rupesh Putada. I am the manager for product safety and risk management department at Vitris. I am a pharmacist by profession and I have completed my post graduation back in 2009 and since then I have joined the pharmacovigilance industry uh, with over 12 years of experience. So I started my career uh, back in 2009 and I continue to work in this field and I'm currently working with Vitrus which was formerly called as Mylan Pharmaceuticals. So I just wanted to connect with you to make you understand what this field is, what the industry looks like, what is the scope, what are the career opportunities, what are the roles, responsibilities and what are the contributions from you know, multiple aspects including the medical medicinal chemistry. So as you might have heard pharmacovigilance is also called as drug safety. Now this word is derived from two units. One is pharmacon which means the drug. Second is vigilance which means the monitoring. So by definition if you see this is the collection, detection, assessment, monitoring and the prevention of any of the side effects or the adverse effects with pharmaceutical products. So this is something about pharmacovigilance as a definition as a field. Now you might be wondering what these terms are. I mean adverse event, adverse drug reactions, benefits, causal relationships. So these are some terms which are normally and which are frequently used in, in the field of pharmacovigilance. So for example adverse drug reaction. Now this is the effect arising when a drug is given in any therapeutic dose and these reactions might arise immunologically or maybe pharmacologically. Second is adverse event. In simple terms, it is the side effect once you administer the drug. But the relationship between this side effect and the drug administered is not established. Third, if you have heard of benefits. Now these are commonly expressed as proven therapeutic goods of a product. I mean, in a simple term, these are some good experiences which patients might have of the administration of the drug. And the last causal relationship, this is one of the very critical terms which is used in pharmacovigilance. So it basically deals with establishing a relationship between the drug and the adverse drug reaction. So these are some terms which you might hear frequently and these are some basics uh, which, which are very important when it comes to pharmacovigilance. Now one important thing in pharmacovigilance is how the drug interacts with the receptor because that is where all the events and all the reactions come into picture and I think it, it is very interesting to know that uh, the medicinal chemistry part it plays a very significant role in how the pharmacovigilance works. So there are multiple types of you know, drug receptor interactions which you might have already been uh, studying or you might be knowing it already. So one are the covalent bonds, ionic bonds, hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic bonds, van der Waals bonds. So these are bonds which are established uh, based on the strengths, covalent being the strongest and the van der Waals, these being the weakest of all the bonds. So these, these bonds play important role in how the drug interact with the receptors and what the effects fall on after that. So if for example I could just think of one example being uh, the synthesis of prostaglandins from free fatty acids with the help of COX. So these are some mediators of pain and inflammation and uh, so to take few examples one is the arachidonic acid and second is ibuprofen and the role when it comes to interacting with COX and then inhibiting the pain. So these are some examples uh, which relate to medicinal chemistry and its role in you know, the drug safety, the drug interactions which exist. 
so one thing uh, is very important that there are a lot of efforts which are being put into you know, monitoring the quality of products which are marketed so pharmaceutical industries they take a uh, high level of care when it comes to quality of the products and to ensure that these are effective uh, when the patient administers them especially in the groups like elderly the pregnant women the children so uh, just the latest example being you know the vaccines uh, you might be knowing that so the safety profile of a vaccine becomes uh was very important when it comes to you know, the covid-19 pandemic so that being the latest examples research researchers are closely working on you know, maintaining the safety of a drug and the safety of a patient uh, who who are administering these drugs so now pharmaceutical chemistry helps pharmacovigilance uh, industry in achieving wide range of objectives and it at the same times helps answer some of the valuable questions like what is the decay time of active substance in the body then what are the reactions that take place when you use another medicine at the same time that that means what what are the drug drug interactions which could be associated when you taken the pharmaceutical dosage form or the the product manufactured by the pharmaceutical industry then what are the transport mechanisms what the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics which come into picture so the result of those complex reactions like pharmacokinetic the di- and the dynamics inside the body will show the effectiveness of the drug uh, which again relates to the pharmacovigilance so this was something quickly i just wanted to discuss with you to make you aware how the field looks what is the role of medicinal chemistry what are the role of drug interactions drug receptor interaction drug drug interactions and how do we ensure the patient safety and the drug safety uh, in the population who who administers our drugs so there is a huge role uh, which we as pharmacists healthcare professionals play in establishing the safety and we work closely with the drug regulators across the world so that was something about pharmacovigilance and believe me this is a very huge industry having a wide scope and it is a multi billion industry so the the career aspects are phenomenal i've been a part of this industry and i feel fortunate and at the same time also encourage you to you know understand uh, this the, the pharmacovigilance concepts from your friends understand how the industry functions any time you feel you can reach out to your seniors and get hold of how, how what the trend is in pharmacovigilance so thanks for giving me this opportunity i thank dr santosh chajet for putting this uh, forum where uh, i could put forward my thoughts and interact with the students and at the same time help them uh, achieve their goals and career prospects so thanks a lot everyone and i wish every every one of you a good day and a good health thanks bye thank you very much for watching my video patiently if you want to learn chemistry in simplified manner do subscribe my channel share my videos with your friend and stay tuned